For the world super heavyweight title, stand a man Longanides is up against Gary Sandland, European champion, joining me in combi, Dale Floyd and Bobby Jones and Dale Floyd, the president of the WKA. This is a fine moment, isn't it? This is a great moment. I've been looking forward to this fight. For the, I've been in Australia for the past week and the uh, excitement has just been building in this city. It's incredible. Well, what a cool customer this guy is, Gary Sandman, as he makes his way into the ring here. Remarkably uh, like Rocky, and uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm his, sure he's going to be giving Stan the Man something to think about tonight. His nickname is Rocky, and uh, he, from watching the tapes of his fight, he fights like Rocky. He's not pretty, but he's effective. Well, Bobby Jones, uh, our godfather of kickboxing in Australia, as uh, we mentioned uh, today, this is a great moment for uh, Australian fans to watch the kickboxing here from the Convention Centre here at Darling Harbour. It's fantastic to see Stan fight here again in Sydney as well for the New South Wales people. And uh, Stan the Man Longinides is a fantastic ambassador for the World Kickboxing Association, fighting all around the world at the moment, from Las Vegas to Japan to Paris, everywhere, and he's really establishing Australia on the international market for kickboxing. Stan the Man is uh, right now the hottest heavyweight and super heavyweight prospect uh, of any sanctioning body, but I'm proud to say that uh, he's proudest of his uh, WKA title. It looks pretty uh, calm and uh, character Gary Rocky Sandland, the European heavyweight champion. This is for the world super heavyweight title. Stan the Man long and he's about to make his way into the ring. Gary Sandlin was a last-minute replacement for uh, Grant Barker. Grant Barker has had a back injury and was unable to fight tonight. Gary took the fight on about uh, nine days' notice. Well, here's the wall go up for Stan the Man as he makes his way to ringside here at the Darling Harbour Convention Centre. The excitement is building in this arena. It's incredible the effect that Stan the Man has on any audience that he fights in front of, whether it's in Australia, whether it's in Japan or America. It's incredible. Well, Stan the Man's here to do the business with Gary Sandland. And this big crowd is standing ovation for Stan the Man Longanides as he makes his way ringside. Stan has an incredible entourage as you see the girls coming into the ring. We're all wearing his belt. He's got an incredible a collection of belts fighting from all the sanctioning bodies in the sport of kickboxing. He's made his name. It's no wonder that he is the hottest product, prospect in the sport right now. He's got opening new markets. This tape and uh, the delay broadcast of this fight will give our European audiences a chance to see him in action. Here he is. Here he is. Stand the man, Longanides, about to go up against Gary Sandland. Unbeaten Sandland, Longanides, who went down on a split decision to Morris Smith a couple of years ago. And the I only loss. The rematch with Smith in October the 9th, and I tell you what, the crowd just love this guy. Stand the man, Longanides, the super heavyweight title up for grabs here tonight. Stan is defending his title tonight. He has fought for other so uh, sanctioning bodies, heavyweight championships, and won. He's got the record for the fastest knockout in history of the sport. Six seconds, he knocked out. He broke the leg of Dennis Alexio. 15 seconds, Ahmed Mohammed, when he took out Ahmed Mohammed's uh, super heavyweight title away from him. He has one loss and only one loss, and he's going to avenge that loss against Maurice Smith, October 9th. Okay, let's go ringside now and uh, let's get uh, the introduction of both of these boxers and uh, let's join our ring commentator right now. Ladies and gentlemen, going to 41 countries around the world, over 28 million viewers in the United States, to South Africa, Turkey, Hong Kong, Malaysia, England, Germany and all the other nations receiving tonight's event and of course the fantastic in-house crowd here at the Sydney Convention Centre. Whoa! As the big boxers are gloving up, we would like to welcome into the ring co-promoters for the night, Jeff Patterson and Mark Bayfield, as well as local promoter Philip Player. We'll take a break and be right back with more from the Darling Harbour Convention Centre here in Sydney. This match 
is for the WKA World Kickboxing Association and World Super Heavyweight title. The referee is Billy Mayo. The judges are Rino LaBruna, June Chan, and Gary Carmelo. The doctor in attendance is Dr. Lou Lewis. This WKA World Super Heavyweight title bout will be fought over 12 two-minute rounds. The challenger in the red corner, weighing in at 92.1 kilos, from Liverpool, England, a record 25 and 0, 24 by knockout, 19 in the first round, Gary Rocky Well, Gary Sandland being introduced to the crowd here uh, to a mixed reception, but uh, Sandland didn't worry about that uh, whatsoever. And uh, we have the introduction now uh, for Stan Longanese. So we'll do that in just a second. And the Stan just getting gloved up. But uh, Gary Sandland, uh, just by looking at him, he's pretty cool. He's pretty calm. He's nice and relaxed. Uh, he's got an incredible record. And uh, there's been a lot written about this amazing punch that he's got, too. It goes pretty quickly, I've been told. Nine, they clocked it at 900 miles an hour. Uh, using uh, some sophisticated testing equipment at a university in, in uh, London. As I said earlier, uh, Gary has taken this fight on uh, a, week's, a week and a half's notice, and uh, Stan, man is, Stan the Man is not only an incredible fighter, he's also an incredible human being. He's, uh, he stated that uh, he will fight a rematch, win or lose, he'll fight a rematch with Gary at the Royal Albert Hall in London. London, England. And... Uh, he, he's uh, given Gary Sandlin a lot of credit for taking this fight on short notice. Well, uh, Andy Raymond will uh, introduce Stan the Man to this big fight. And ladies and gentlemen, the champion, the World Kickboxing Association, super heavyweight champion of the world at 92.2 kilos, a record 29-1 and 1 from Melbourne, Australia. He's awesome! Well, it's for the super heavyweight title of the world. The super heavyweight title up for grabs here. Stan the Man Longanides, who's looking pretty fit. Stan um, the Man's biggest problem in the sport right now is to find opponents that will fight him, that will challenge him for his title. He's uh, uh, had uh, two, two fighters pull out for this one. The first one was Santiago Garza, who was his first professional fight. He fought to a draw with him. And uh, Santiago, he wanted to even the score with Santiago Garza. Unfortunately, San Diego pulled out, and then uh, Grant Barker was injured. Billy Miles talking to uh, both of these guys. Best of luck. Best of luck from Billy Miles there to Gary Sandland and Stan the Man Longanides. We're set here, folks, for what should be a ripper of a clash. Stan looks up to the skies and with a silent prayer. Gary Sandland, European champion with a Remarkable record. Both of these fighters incredibly fast starters. Uh, both of them have a really high first ro round knockout rate. So a early warning there for Stan the Man, round one. The difference in the two fighters is Gary Sandlin has had so many first round knockouts, he's never been over five rounds. Stan has gone the distance on many occasions. Starting off at a pretty fair pace. Sandland standing up to Longanides. Sandland doesn't look intimidated at all. I mean, uh, he's really trying to mix it up. Not at all. And I, as I said earlier, he's not a pretty fighter, but he's he's strong. He's powerful. Well, he's here to do business, uh, Sandland. There's no question about that. He's not overawed by Stan the Man Longanides at this point in time anyway. It's only been a very early start to, or a very quick start in the early part of round number one. Oh. Longanides on his feet there. That was a pretty Surprise. solid. Plenty of power in that kick. Yeah, surprise knockdown there. Um, you got to wonder about uh, all the, with all the, the opponent changes, you got to wonder if that plays uh, 
any part in the psychological warfare of this uh, this bout. You know, Stan's been up, uh, had, this is his third opponent for the same fight. Well, Sandland coming in there with uh, a right hand. Longanides in the neutral corner. I, th I think Stan's too professional for that. Uh, but like you say, though, you, you don't know, do you, when you're planning for one kind of fighter. I know it would upset Dana Goodson more than Stan because Dana Goodson is a trainer. It would probably upset him a lot more. But it must affect Stan to a degree of uh, having a three opponent change in three weeks. Uh, one thing about Stan Longanides is he's very versatile. Champ goes up for Stanley. Gary Sandland, to his credit, is kept right up with the long ladies in this first round, and there goes the bell for the end of the first round. Stand a man there, uh, just getting a breather between rounds one and two. This is scheduled for 12 2 minutes. And what do you think of the performance of Sandland in the first round there, Dale? Um, it was, uh, it was uh, I think. Stan, the man's uh, biggest nightmare is fighting awkward fighters, and uh, I, I think Gary uh, holds up to his name on that one. He's, he's awkward, an awkward style for Stan to keep up to. Um, I was surprised by that uh, flash knockdown with the with the leg kick. I think that caught him off more more off balance than anything. Well, here's the replay. Oh he yeah, was he was balance. definitely off balance. He had one leg in the air there, so I wouldn't really even count that as a serious knockdown. He's kicking pretty solid legs there on Stan Longanides. In fact, it's caused a bleeding on the shin of the English fighter. He's bleeding, oh, yeah, I he's can bleeding see that. quite heavy from that kick that he laid on Stan. Yes, uh, spot on there. There it is there, folks. As you can see, uh, plenty of blood trickling down there from the shin bone of Sandland as he goes in with the right turning kick again on Longanides. Boy, both, both these fighters are extremely powerful. Just uh, watching that left hook that Stan threw, that would, you know, any normal person that would have rocked them. If he's the slightest bit intimidated by Stan, at this point in time, he's still hiding it very, very well. And I imagine he'd have to be, coming on a week and a half, a week and a half notice, and the, the incredible reputation of Stan Longanides has got. Longanides with the left arm there. With the left hook. Sandland on the ropes. Coughing a right turning kick from Longanides. And one thing Stanland's got going for him is he's, he's tough. He can take a punch. Stan's rattled him, hit him with a couple that would have hurt anybody. Yeah, yeah, good one, good one. Australia's only uh, the first ever world champion. Stan's still finding his timing difficult, and that's what you said, uh, Dale. This English boy's such an awkward fighter. But I'm looking at Stan, he doesn't normally throw kicks like that that miss by six inches. He normally throws and connects. Yeah, it, I, I can see that their styles differ. He does an unorthodox. Oh, he just, Stan just caught him with another. Stan the man just caught him with a left hook, and uh, that definitely woke up Gary Sandlin. Now you can see blood trickling. From That's it. Oh, good shot there from that left hook. He was just waiting to hit with long knees. It's the count now for Sandlin, but he gets up. I don't. I think this is it. I'm just looking at Sandlin's face as he got up. Longanini's in for the kill now on Gary Sandland. Sandland throwing left to right. Longanini with the right arm again. Sandland looking this over to his it. corner. He's on his haunches. Is he going to get up? Yes, he's back on his feet again. Knocked down twice. This isn't going to go the distance. Stand the man. Longanini's doing his business now on Gary Sandland, who trips over again. That's and saved like. by the bell there. Saved by the Sandland. bell. He'll, right. he'll take a breather now. At the end of the second round, he went down twice in the second. It just took uh, Stan the Man being as ring smart as he is. It just took him a few, you know, the first round just to figure out where to place that, that punch or the kick. And he placed it perfectly. A left hook to right to the side of Gary Sandlin's head. Right. Just for the first, the first half of that round, I was explaining about his timing table with being a little bit out. But towards the end of that round, Stan the Man, long as he just had everything on the button. He found his mark and... Uh, he hates fighting awkward fighters. Uh, he told me that earlier, that that's the only thing that he that he hates in a fighter is, is being awkward. And that's, bang, that's it. I, th I would say that's a trademark Stan Longanini's left hook. See what it was, was nice and quick, wasn't it? And this one even uh, was quicker. You could just see the left hand going through there. And uh, there's the telling oh, blow. That was two lefts. Sam Man, Stanley. he's out though, and uh, ready to continue for round number three. Giving Sandlin credit, you know, I think any other man wouldn't have come out for the third bell. Well, he uh, winked at one of his uh, corner men and said, no, I'm all right. He's back out for the fray in the third round. He looks okay. He looks pretty well with it. 
He certainly come all the way from England to put on a fight. He's not here for a haircut, is he? Okay, Stan's found his mark now. I think he's, uh, he's he knows he's in control of the fight. And he's just waiting for, for an opening. Stan Longanit is a very popular fighter in Japan. As well as you guys know, he's very popular in Australia and, and in the United States as well. He's Sam, uh, working on the body there of Longanit. He's sorry, Dale. It'll be interesting, interesting if uh, Gary Sinclair will want to take the rematch in London. We'll have more time to train and be fighting in front of his own home crowd. It'll be interesting after the, the treatment he's copying off Stan the Man right now, if he'll go ahead with that rematch that Stan has promised him and give Stan a chance to be uh, promoted in England. So the shot there from Longanides. It's on now between these two. Longanides coming in on the third round. Longanides has his timing down now. It's, uh, I'd say it's, it's spot on. He means business to Stan, oh, and there's the big shot, and onto that, the canvas, no Sam, that, that it's all it's over. over. It's all over, the world super heavyweight title has gone to Stan, the man, Longanini. He keeps his title, and uh, well-deserved title defense there for Stan, the man, Longanini. Stan, the man has done it. Defending his title against Gary Sandland in the third round knockout. Gary Sandland still on his haunches, not able to get up after that uh, crushing blow there from Stan the Man Longanides and Dale Floyd. That was a, a great knockout punch. It was always going to come, and it came in the third round. Well, this is uh, the first time ever that Gary Sandland's been on the mat. That's uh, the first time ever he's lost in his life. I think he's going to stop and reassess uh, his fight career here. And uh, I, I, as Bob was saying earlier, I wonder, I really wonder if uh, Gary's going to take the rematch here that Stan has offered him. Well, uh, Billy Miles just coming over there to uh, see how uh, Stan Land is, and he's okay. He was just hit with uh, a stunning blow, which put him out of business, and uh, Dr. Lou Lewis is there. you got to give him credit, though, if that was any other person, any other heavyweight on the planet. Well, let's take a look they at this uh, down in the first the knockdowns round. in this round. And uh, you can just see Stan ready to uh, line this one up. And there goes Sandman straight to the canvas. Well, this is where it all happened. Big right hand there, friend. Uh, Sandman had no answer to that. And uh, all he could do was hit the canvas, and it was all over. Billy Miles waved it off. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout in the third round, and still the World Kickboxing Association Super Heavyweight Champion. Well, there's Stan the Man there uh, being chaired in the centre ring at the moment. And this big crowd just absolutely loves Stan the Man Longanides here in Australia. He's done a fine job tonight over Gary Sandland, knocking him over in the third round, midway Ladies through the third the round. With the champion Stan Longanides, how are you feeling, son? Oh, it's good to get over and done with. Um, I just want to say a few things. No, really, I don't mean that in disrespect. First of all, I've got to spend a couple of minutes to thank the right people. Jeff Patterson, this is his first venture. And the man's 72 years old, and he worked very, very hard to put the show together. And please do me a favor and give him a good, strong ovation. He worked hard. Jeff Patterson. <laughs> and, and, uh, also, he's got a good team of people. I can't men mention all their names, but they all helped, and he didn't do it on his own. Um, I want to thank Toys for getting involved. Um, let me tell you, kickboxing is a sport that's growing very rapidly worldwide. And um, you know we don't get no major corporate sponsors. It's very, very unfair, I feel, because it's a sport that's growing rapidly and very, very popular. I want to thank my sponsors, Black and Blue, who have been right behind me all the way from the word go. I want to thank all my team. I want to thank um, George Bassett from Recreation, who's responsible for my fitness. Leroy, don't forget he's, he's my main man, hang on a minute. Uh, Nick Matthews, Lee. Daniel Goodson, my doctor, Peter Lewis, who travels with me. 
everyone, tell the crew so much, Barring Partners. I want to thank everyone for coming to support. I always get a good following in Sydney, and I thank you all very much. I want to thank two of my best friends. I love these people very, very much. They're there with me all the time, no matter what. I'm talking about my manager, Nick Kenos, who I love very much, man, I'm telling you. You're my man. And I want to thank another man that never lets me down. I'm talking about my Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Lord. I want to thank Jesus for giving me the strength, for giving me the talent, the strength, the courage to face all challenges from all over the world. And let me tell you, I've got to give credit to Gary because, look, he took the fight on short, short notice, and he made it a very rough fight. He made me look terrible. And I'm glad I got him done with, and that's what I meant. He's got an amazing record, and I'm more than happy. I've never fought in London, and if we can organize a return match and give you some time to prepare properly, maybe we can do it in London sometime in Albert Hall. I thank you very much for taking a short notice. There's so many people I have to thank, but I'm gonna cut it short now. And to all those people in all those 37 countries that are watching, let me just tell you one thing, not just Stan the Man, but Australia has got some mean fighters out there, and you saw just a portion of them tonight. Thank you very much. God bless you all. We'll take a break and be right back with more from the Darling Harbour Convention Centre here in Sydney. Well, I'm sure you'll agree, great action from the Darling Harbour Convention Centre. Stan the Man Longanides defending his title successfully when he knocked down Gary Sandland midway through the third round. President of the WKA is with us. Dale Floyd, what would you think? I thought it was an exciting fight. Uh, one of the best three rounds of fighting I've seen. Um, I know that Gary Sandline took this fight on very short notice, and uh, he's been promised a rematch by, by San Longanides. And I think uh, if they do have a rematch, we might see a longer bout. Great fight. That's the way it panned out. Stan the man, Longanides, defending his title successfully midway through the third round when he knocked down Gary Sandland. On behalf of Bob Jones and Dale Floyd, I'm Nick Robin. Thanks for joining us from the Darling Harbour Convention Centre in Sydney, Australia.